Hi, my Tropics family. How are you doing? Did you apply for your NHG refund already? Are you going to apply? Are you interested in applying? Well, guys, of course, I'm broke and I already applied for my NHG return. Yes, um, I'm going to invest it in something. So what are you waiting for? It's easy. I'm going to show you how. Let's go. All right, so you can just um, Google NHT returns or NHT refunds. They're actually at doing 2013 returns right now. As you can see, you just um, scroll down and you press right there, apply for refund. Or scroll until you see apply now. So you select apply for refund and then it's going to bring you to a page where it shows some conditions terms and conditions that you have to go through and select you select i agree after you go through it i'm gonna put that at the end so you can know what's there if you're interested so first stage apply um they're gonna ask you a series of questions and this is select the statement that best describes you I am retired. I am a migrating expatriate. I am in receipt of an of an invalidity pension from the Ministry of Social Security. I am applying on behalf of a deceased contrib contributor or none of the above. Do you make mortgage payment to NHT? That's the second question. So you say yes or no. They um made a note if you got your nhd loan through another institution such as first caribbean building society jamaica national building society Sajikor court jamaica scotia jamaica building society victoria mutual building society your answer to this question should still be no next question are you currently a public sector worker that is work for the government yes or no um, then you put in a date of birth. You select the, the the option, the month, the day, the year, and then you continue. And then you review this. Now you're going to put in your personal information. First name, of course. So as you can see, I'm typing in the first name, which is John. And of course, you will type in your first name right here. Or the person's person that you are applying on behalf of um, the middle name and of course the last name then as always you need the address so you just um type in the address type in the full address um, that you are living <clears throat> and of course you'll have, uh, have to select the parish And the country is, of course, Jamaica. <clears throat> you type in your email address. <laughs> you see, I was going to write sexy something, but... Yes, I'm applying for John Doe. So, John Doe now going to write no sexy none of him email address. <laughs> Unless he was using somebody else's email address. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because you know that um, this, this information that I'm using right now is not for a real person. But you would use your real information, of course. And then after the email address, you put in the phone number. So 
So, of course, you know, your phone, phone number, 876-something. <laughs> and if you have a home phone number, you can put that as well. Yes, so now you have to choose an ID type. Driver's license, passport, or national ID. Right there, I select driver's license. And you have to put the, the, the driver's license number, which would usually be your tier in as well country of issue um selected jamaica and of course as usual they'll ask you for the expiry date of that license or um whatever whatever um identification method you chose no it has asked have you ever had a name change so you select yes or no if you had a name change then um, you type in your NIS number. And then you type in your TRN number. And then you um, continue. So you go to the next step right here. Okay, right here. For which years are you applying for a refund? And where were you employed in these years? Complete the table below with information required. So the ask the year and the status if you're employed and what company so this you can be applying for 2013 or prior so if you if you were working before 2013 as well and you haven't applied for your refund for those years before 2013 you can also apply for those years or if you worked more than one um institution then you can put in both employer like i did in 2013 i was working at one um establishment and then i went to another so i put in both of them by the way um i found it better to use a computer if you have one to do this application because i found out that my phone i don't know if your phone is different it wasn't allowing me to, to put in this specific information. When I reached at this stage, it wasn't allowing me to put in information. So I actually um, used the, the, the computer, the laptop, apply for mine. But maybe your phone is able to, to do everything. So um, try the laptop if you have a laptop. But if it's that's a, a phone you have, then you can try it because maybe your phone is different from mine. So I put in 2012 to 2013 for the year. And then um, you put in the company name. So after you put in the year that you're claiming for up to 2013, then you go ahead and select a Jamaican account, um, a prepaid card, or you can get it via remittance agency. So I selected to my Jamaican account, I put in the bank, NCB, and um, the branch, the account number. I chose the account type, which is savings. Then you can go ahead and create or choose a security question like what is the name of your childhood friend, what is your mother's maiden name, what is the name of your first pet, etc. So I chose what is your mother's maiden name and I put that in. Then you press review and they'll review the, all the information with you so you can go back through it and see if you have the correct information um date of birth first name middle name last name if that's correct you look at the spelling and then you confirm and then you'll get a receipt with a reference number so just ensure that you keep your reference number take a, a picture or a screenshot or some of the reference number so you have it when I need it. 
i do hope this information was able to help you please guys do remember to subscribe share like and um just be a part of the family thank you